Hello and welcome to vlog number 155. This week, at the request of YouTube user Paul MacDonald, I'm going to talk about muscular rigidity in Parkinson's disease. Muscular rigidity, or stiff, inflexible muscles, is one of the most common symptoms of PD. It is thought to affect upwards of 90% of people with Parkinson's and is often preceded by aching or a feeling of muscular weakness. Rigidity is experienced as a result of muscles not stretching and relaxing as they should and may present itself in a number of ways such as muscle pain and cramping, hypermimia or facial masking, a loss of facial expression, a stooped posture, reduced arm swing when walking, difficulty turning over in bed, difficulty turning when walking, difficulty standing up from a sitting or lying position, a loss of manual dexterity making it difficult to perform everyday activities like doing up a button or writing or using cutlery. Like most symptoms of Parkinson's, not everyone will experience muscular rigidity and those that do may well experience it in different ways. Rigidity usually starts in the arm on one side of the body before progressing to the leg on the same side of the body and then to the trunk on the other side of the body. The rate of progression varies from person to person. So, what causes muscular rigidity and what can be done about it? It is thought that dopamine insufficiency is responsible for disrupting the balance between the muscles that extend and relax for each movement, which results in muscular rigidity. Treatment of rigidity is principally medication based. It responds well to PD meds such as levodopa. Regular exercise is important to strengthen muscles and to maintain and improve mobility and flexibility. A physiotherapist may be able to help with muscular cramping and an occupational therapist could advise on aids and devices which assist you in your day to day life or suggest changes to your daily routine to help you to remain mobile and independent. A speech therapist could also help by providing an exercise regime to maintain the flexibility of your facial muscles. Personally, I found that DBS improved my muscular rigidity initially, but as the settings of my neurostimulator have been tweaked to suppress tremor, which is my most troubling symptom, it has become less effective at relieving rigidity. Either that, or my rigidity has progressed significantly over the last four years. Probably a bit of both. I use cannabis to treat it, which helps me to relax my muscles and also provides relief from the pain and discomfort of rigidity. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.